So now that we've looked at inscribed angles and central angles, there are a couple, um, well, we'll call them corollaries to inscribed angles. So there's some applications of that theorem that, that lead to some other um, true things about inscribed angles. So we're going to keep going with inscribed angles, but, but maybe apply it a little bit differently. The first thing we need to know is that inscribed angles, if they, um, if they inscribe a semicircle, which is half a circle, remember, it is a right angle. Now, this should make sense. So assuming that's a diameter here, how big is that arc? Well, it's 180. It's half a circle. Well, what's half of 180? Well, it's just 90. So anytime we have an inscribed angle uh, that's 180 degrees, it's going to be 90 degrees. Or what ends up happening is that inscribed angle will always have endpoints on the diameter of the circle. So that hopefully is, is pretty obvious. Uh, here's the second one that's maybe a little less obvious. Uh, and that's this. The opposite angles of an inscribed quadrilateral are supplementary. Uh, let me see if I can explain why that's the case. So let's take a look at this angle right here. It is equal to half of this red arc, right? Whereas, let's look at this angle over here, the opposite angle in the inscribed quadrilateral. That angle right there is equal to half of this arc. You okay with that? Is it making sense so far? So if, notice what happens with the red arc and the green arc. Well, together it's 360 degrees. And no matter how I split that up, it's always going to be 360 degrees as long as the two endpoints end up on the circle, as long as the quadrilateral is inscribed. So half of the green plus half of the red will always add up to be 180. So for the math-wise, let's say if this is 50 degrees, that would mean that this one over here is 130 degrees. So let's just do a couple quick problems to, to talk about how we might see this playing out in a problem. So we have this thing that's, um, well, supposed to be a circle. It's more of, a, more of an egg shape, a squished circle. Somebody sat on it. I don't know. You get the idea. Let's imagine that it's a circle. You can all pretend together. Okay, and let's solve for x and y. Well, x is an inscribed angle of a semicircle, so this is just equal to 90 degrees. And then y, it's just going to be, this is also a semicircle from this point to that point. So I'd do 180 minus 93, and y would be equal to 87. All right, let's look at one of these uh, inscribed quadrilateral guys. Okay, let's solve for a, b, and c. So A is pretty easy. I've got this, this 87 up here. So what I'm going to do is do 180 minus 87. So A is equal to 93 degrees. All right. Hopefully we're okay with that. All right, now let's look at A as an inscribed angle. Okay, I know that this entire distance is 2 times A. That would get me from this point here all the way around to this point over here. So 93 times 2 is equal to 1. 86. So the whole thing is 186, but I know this piece here is 92. So I subtract 92, and I get 94. Okay. Hopefully that's making sense so far. Um, let's look at one more. Okay, let's look at that 88 degrees. So that 88 degrees okay, is also an inscribed angle. And if I double it, it would get me from this distance all the way around to that distance. And I could solve by subtracting 92, because I know 92 is part of that arc. That would get me C. So 180, um, sorry, 88 times 2. It's not 180. 88 times 2 would be uh, 176 minus 92. And so 17 minus 9, because that's going to be 4. 17 minus 9 is 84, would be C. Okay, so it is a little bit of application of inscribed angles, of doing some quadrilaterals. Let's look at one more where we might run into some issues. Okay, what if I have a case like this where I'm given a circle and I'm given some variables? I'm just going to set it up. I'm not going to solve it here. All right, so how would I set this up? Well, the thing you don't want to do is you don't want to set these two equal. I don't know that angles opposite each other in an inscribed quadrilateral are congruent, but I do know that they add up to 180. So what I'm going to do is, just like any other supplementary problem, I'm going to add these up and set them equal to 180. Okay, and then I can solve. At 9x, 
um, plus 3 is equal to 180. And then from there, we would be able to solve that. Okay, so it should come out to 17. All right, so if you want to, uh, you can follow that math out if you'd like. But that gives you a few more options uh, for solving some inscribed angles, or at least maybe some shortcuts, even if they weren't anything new per se. So uh, that wraps up our lesson here that's uh, dealing with other applications of inscribed angles.